Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up OMTEC water pump and what can you do to upgrade if you need to upgrade some stuff, okay? So I am upgrading one thing in this water pump and I will explain in a minute why uh, it's a great water pump but I just I want to upgrade something to it. Okay, what I'm going to be using this bucket here is basically detergent bucket, okay? I am using an antifreeze because I'm in Michigan and it getting very cold. So this is concentrated uh, antifreeze. Okay, cooling. Uh, you must add water. But it does say if you read here. In the bag, we'll explain to you. It depends on your temperature, how much water you should add. So what I added, actually, I added two and a half gallon distilled water. Uh, into one of these, okay. I didn't want too much, you know, antifreeze. I didn't want to affect the laser or anything. I did end up drilling two holes in here, and when you drill, be careful how to drill. Do not use a drilling bit because this is plastic and it's gonna get stuck and end up ruining the plastic. But I use use your step drill, basically the design like this. Okay, focus for a minute. Your step drills. So you drill a small hole, keep going until you meet whatever hole size you want. Okay, so again, make sure it's covered. Do not use clear bottles, I mean, or bucket or anything because from the UV, you might gonna end up having some mold inside your water just from the UV. Okay, that's why I need to cover make sure anything white, black, or any different color. Black is recommended for less UV lighting. Okay, give me a minute and I'm gonna show you what upgrade we're gonna do to this guy here. So here's a small upgrade I actually did. So this is the water pump I was explaining an unboxing. It, it pushes about 2,300 liter an hour. It's not bad of a pump, but this is the hose that comes in with it. And it kind of people was wondering online how to push this guy here. It comes in with this plastic. You might lost it because when I impacted it, this thing fell off and I did not even know it came in with it. So until my son found it actually. So it comes in, you can push this guy here, it's a half inch almost diameter, it's a little bit smaller than a half inch diameter. Okay, you can push this guy in here and, you know, just tightly and then you can just push it here. But I didn't want this to come off or anything. So what I did, I went to Home Depot and bought this guy here. It is a male adapter, half inch to half inch. And there is half inch to, I want to say uh, three eight or something. Uh, do not use that because the whole opening inside it is smaller. You might just have to use half to half and then you just use this brand if you can get this brand from online or something. Okay, let me see if you can find it. See it better clear. Okay, and you use actually a scan bar too for it. Maybe you can scan it or something. So, what I did again, I just heat this tube up, force it in, it's not coming out. Then this guy here opens up, there's a screw. Basically, as a half inch, same diameter. What I did, if you don't know the sizes and stuff like that, just pick this with you and go to Home Depot. Open it, go to Home Depot, and cut a small hose in here and take it with you just to match it. Make sure you get the right, you get the right stuff. Okay, so I attach this guy over here. The hose is long enough for my application. I'm not gonna use the whole hose. Maybe I'll use two holes and then. Just gonna tie it up. We can use Teflon tape in here, but I'm not gonna use for at this time. I think it's good enough. You don't need it. And here, it's tight enough right now. So this is actually how our holes is gonna look like. Okay, attached here. This will push, and then we'll set it up to the water tank very soon. So here's from the back look. In the back look, so. Uh, Back of the machine basically what I did too to run the wire electrical wire I just cut this long so I can fit that cord head because the cord head it is a little bit big so I don't want to cut the cord I just cut this plastic piece I will tape it later and then I made a little hole here so this guy can be comfortable so the water pump inside this is in I mean the game will be in I mean the, uh, the pushing this is gonna be the pushing in so basically, so on the left hand of the machine, in the back, this is, says water. And basically, this is 
this is the out output so the out I cut the holes just to go down a little bit more I didn't want a lot of it but at least just a little bit down so we'll not have air so we'll put this guy inside here it's gonna go like this so this is gonna end okay so this is gonna be the end this is out and I will turn the water sorry that's it and maybe I'll put some weight in here later or something or do something and just maybe glue this guy with the glue gun okay simple setup gotta wipe the machine down dusty okay then we will turn the mesh the water pump and what you see you see so here's the back of the machine I'm gonna try and see if I can have you guys see the whole thing okay so what I'm about to do I'll move this case here and open it up well I like I guess those hinges and I'll move the case it's gonna put it here I'm gonna go down slide just to show you guys the water floating okay so you're yeah, in the way of the camera and hook up the water pump right now and see how it's working see the water floating through a tube you have it running for a minute the idea is to remove all the bubble from the tube so if I if you look here let's see if there's some bubbles they always say the bubble is no good for your machine so you can see this bubble in the tube here and it's clearing here give it a minute usually give it a half hour to run make sure all the bubbles are out of the machine you can see them if you can see a little bit thin bubbles air pockets what we call them Okay, so this is the out return basically, and this is the common and common line of the machine. It's actually clearing up very good. There's not a lot of air in the line right now, but I will maybe tilt the machine a little bit, just tilt it to make sure if there's anything is gonna go out, or you can just do this, maybe cut the pinch the hose for a minute to give it more pressure just for a couple seconds pinch it then let go yeah you can see you can see I'm gonna pinch it let go more bubbles are getting pushed out it's a good idea actually you can pinch let go pinch this guy here let go yes, sir. just pinch the holes make sure there's no bubbles this guy here here, I think there's some bubbles here. Yep, looking good. Now, I did not remove this tape here. It was just stuck in. I didn't want to damage the sticker. I seen if this sticker is here, the tape is not gonna affect. Basically, okay, I'm gonna pinch, let go, pinch, let go. And next, I will be aligning this meter here. Okay. I am gonna turn off the pot water pump right now, just to make sure that nothing gonna stop basically the water is not gonna get drained out of here because if it doesn't we have a problem so let's see water in the tube usually or well, antifreeze I keep calling the water stable 
nothing joining out there is an actual switch here it says water pump I will be hooking up the water pump through here instead of having a switch actual for the button but I will let this guy turn on for a minute to clear everything then we'll go to testing again set up uh, got my antifreeze here antifreeze antifreeze <laughs> okay uh, cord I will tape this guy and I will maybe seal this guy so no dust and dirt you can do on the water and definitely the cover if it get very very cold in the winter maybe I will you know insulate this guy but I think it should be good in and out okay seems like working fine there is a limit switch I seen here I'm gonna have to look into it I haven't read the whole manual uh, see if I can I like there is a switch in here I want to say it's a flow flow sensor valve so in case if there's no flow to the sensor see yeah uh, you gonna have to look into this guy here to see see there's bubbles over here so let me get rid of all the bubbles make sure there's no bubbles just check your tubing make sure this guy is locked there's nothing here leaking before you start anything and having a disaster somewhere okay I did zip tie those two here. I'm just gonna. I did zip tie these just in case. You don't need to, but I did just to be on the safe side because I seen they have all these zip tie here. They don't have zip tie on these, but they're very, very strong. So I'm not gonna mess with them. I don't wanna cause any damage to a tube or something. Okay. Okay, it's running. You barely can see it. It's running. There's a little bubble forming over here small bubble and have to get rid of other than that it look great we'll have it running for an hour or so and then we'll start aligning our laser thank you